you know, say, I come back to this point. You're mismanaging fiscal policy in a small island state. The economy, by him, go down. <clears throat> by him, go down. And my message has always been that stop all these leakages. Me drive come down here, me hire a minister of finance and tell him, my God, really, you must know. We are right on the spot. Stop the leakages. Restore him now the integrity of our fiscal position. Don't play around with the little things that are fundamental to our fiscal position. If we do that, we will find a very hard road to come back for recovery, honestly. Mr. Speaker. And I'm really grateful that you know the Minister of Finance has done that. And thank you, Prime Minister, for you know, putting the House on notice that the Minister has already briefed Cabinet and then he has taken the position you know, to present that situation on the second day of this motion of Sydney Day. Thank you. I hope it sings very well, you may have the key thinking that I'm supposed to be on all of us right now is to help the Minister of Finance to restore this fiscal situation. That has to be the key factor. All of us. That has to be the subject of our conversation. But then, me worry a little bit more. It will go on borrow more, it's 140 million. See? Yesterday, in fact, I put you on notice, Mr. Uh, Speaker, that I want to ask the Prime Minister a question with a notice on this particular one. 140 million. I watch what you said, Mr. Prime Minister, on the YouTube. Buying back Ripple and LSL. I was going to ask you the question. Who has gone into liquidation? Ripple and LSL? Or who? I've been given a diagram of a set of, you know, corporate entities in a register in a foreign jurisdiction owned by shareholders of the same person and also owns certain companies registered in our jurisdiction. And then I don't know how now we got pulled into this whole thing, Mr. Speaker. How? How we got pulled into this whole deal? My understanding is that the company that has gone into liquidation is a company not even registered in Solomon Islands. Him registered in foreign jurisdiction. Why do we have to go and bail him out? Are we the cause of the problem that he went into liquidation? You may think what we stand. I feel sorry for the people of this country. Why do we have to go and bail this guy out? He's not even a registered uh, company in Shalom Island. For what reason? And if we are to buy back LSL and Ripple, are we buying the assets? Which side of the balance sheet now in the pick him? or who did the valuation, and which side of the balance sheet. If you look at the financial statement of any entity, you have the profit and loss, and you have the balance sheet. So which limb of the balance sheet now into a picky meal? The asset side, asset and must equal limb liabilities and equity. What is equity? Shares. So are we buying the shares or the assets? Prime Minister, have you carried out your due diligence? I want a response from you when you close this scene Stop MD Lear. There are so many countries in Solomon Islands that have gone down. Then we never bail them out.
place maker him go out, bomb and city stem, container no more, me look him low there. Me like go buy material low there. We never bail them out. If we have to buy the assets, promise I want an answer from you too on Monday. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Did that shareholder, what now the amount that him sent him in Chadlo County to buy that asset in the first place? Show that proof. Where is that proof? I have to deal on this thing because, you know, ordinary people in the street, right now, this is right in the middle of their conversation. You all know, I go walk about the street, so you all look at me. Two billion not yesterday when there may be for North Malay. And we have had all these concerns. That's why I picked up that point and then had to ask this question, uh, Mr. Speaker. Why? Which side of the balance is there? That valuation there? The orientation of the valuation them go towards? For us to buy the assets, if it is, has gone into liquidation, or who? I heard something about this liquidation law, Australia. Mr. Speaker, I also wanted to ask the Prime Minister to confirm to this House, was the Solomon Islands government a party to that liquidation process? Were we a party to it? Who made that guarantee? Did you guys carry out, I'm sorry, say, uh, did the government, you know, carry out no due diligence to ensure that all these little things are here? If it is the assets, which parcels now, low water land, belong Ripple or LSLs, are now subject to that uh, sale and the buyback. And if you have lost asset type, this is my question. My everyone, you mean, you sit down, Lord, leave a land loan to go there. But you mean, how are you? Are we buying through this way for helping me, Mr. Lever? Huh? Whilst the ordinary people are sitting out there. Let's have a heart for this country and think a little bit. Finance minister just told us that, you know, the basket low there and big fella drill, no, low underneath low here, me. Patching drill, you know what you should do, you mean? See? Or remove them drill, you know, patching uh, drill. For patching the hole, well, the jail drill, and who knows what's done over there, the drill all over here. That's what we need to identify. First hundred days, big drill, and you'll put him below him. Ten millimeter, or minus I, twenty millimeter drill, and at him go this time. Say. So say. If it is that company, obvious, me looking go, there are two companies in a diagram that they were sent to me. These two companies are not registered in Solomon Islands. They don't have a foreign investment approval. <coughs> you know, say, this whole state is foreign investment approval, and same, same, or same, citizenship. That's how special it is. We have to protect those investors that are investing in us, given that foreign investment approval. To follow company and me not looking. They don't even exist. They are not even registered as a company in Solomon Islands. Why are we bailing them out? The simplest tool that you should do is to tell the Minister of Commerce, anyone that is declared bankrupt, cancel him, send him out of the country. That's the simplest thing that you have to do. Don't use taxpayers' money to bail them out. That is the simplest. That's why we have these laws. And that is one of the conditions. If you are declared bankrupt, off you go. You don't throw them out of the window. Lodoa straight now. Am true? 
Yes, if you are declared. The member for West Arara used to be the Secretary of the Foreign Investment Board before. But I think this will act at that time, him or one day. New one, not this time. It's still the same. The conditions are the same. If you are declared bankrupt in a foreign jurisdiction, sorry, you forfeit your foreign investment approval. That's what we should have done. I age cabinet, you go and then sit down again, then country will not sell 140 million. Nobody will take us to court. Nobody. No foreign court has got a jurisdiction for order, not court plus all of knowledge. That was it. Please save the, our fiscal situation. Saving Facebook country here. Give equity back to our people. 